Welcome back sa ating classroom. So, nung nakaraan, napag-usapan natin yung geometric sequence sa ka-geometric means. So, ngayon, pag-uusapan naman natin yung sum ng geometric sequence. Balik na ulit tayo sa classroom. Sabi ko kanina, ang pag-uusapan natin is yung sum ng geometric sequence. At yung term na gagamitin natin doon ay geometric series. So ngayon, meron na naman tayong bagong formula na kailangan natin tandaan. Ano yun? Yung S sub N is equal to A sub 1 times 1 minus R raised to N all over 1 minus R. Papaano natin gagamitin yan? Siyempre, kailangan natin na example para magamit natin yung formula. Sa so, first example natin, meron tayong geometric sequence na 64, negative 32, and 16. Kailangan daw natin mahanap yung first six terms. So, ano kaya yung sum ng first six terms? Gamit tong formula na to, hahanapin muna natin yung mga given. Okay, tignan natin to. So, meron tayo dito, unang given natin is yung a sub 1. Sulat natin a sub 1 is equal to 64. So, sabi ko nga nung mga nakaraan natin video, sa so pagkuha ng common ratio, kailangan natin i-divide yung second term doon sa first term. Yung third term doon sa second term, and so on. So, gawin natin dito sa sample natin. Meron tayong negative 32 over 64. So, they are both divisible by 32. So, negative 32 divided by 32 is equal to negative 1. And 64 divided by 32 is equal to 2. So, meron tayong negative 1 half. Check naman natin doon sa third term and second term. Meron tayong 16 over negative 32. So, again, dito, divisible na naman itong numerator and denominator sa 16. Divide lang natin. 16 divided by 16 is 1. Over negative 32 divided by 16 is negative 2. So, lumalabas, meron tayong common ratio na negative 1 half. So, ngayon, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating formula. Ulitin nga kanina, kailangan daw natin hanapin yung 6 terms. So, therefore, sa formula, meron tayong S sub 6. Sinabshoot ko lang yung N natin na 6. Ito yan. Is equal to, ngayon, yung A sub 1 natin is equal to 64. Sulat lang natin yung 64. Times 1 minus, again, yung R natin is negative 1 half. So, kailangan isulat natin negative 1 half. Huwag yung kalimutan yun, ha? Again, yung ating 6, o yung n natin is equal to 6. So, sulat lang natin raised to 6 power all over 1 minus ratio na naman. And that is negative 1 half. So, sana nakasunod kayo kung paano natin isubstitute yung mga given dito sa ating formula. Let us continue. Ngayon, simplify na natin. So, meron tayong S sub 6 is equal to 64. Simplify muna natin to So, 1 minus. So, because this is raised to 6 and that is an even number. So, therefore, kapag may negative tayo, laging ang product niyan is positive. So, kunin na natin. 1 raised to 6 is, of course, that is 1. 2 raised to 6. Ano kaya yung 2 raised to 6? So, ganito yan ha. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8. Times 2, 16. Times 2, 32. Times 2, 64. So, meron tayong 1 over 64. All over, simplify natin. Siyempre, kasi negative and negative. And negative times negative is positive. So, therefore, meron tayo 1 plus 1 half. Ako, sir, medyo madugo. Pero pwede-pwede natin isimplify yan. Let us continue. So, this time, we have S sub 6 is equal to 64 times, simplify natin. Ito yung pinakamagaling paraan pag magsisimplify tayo o mag-add tayo o magsasubtract tayo ng fraction doon sa whole number. Kailangan matutunan nyo ito ha. 64 times 1 is 64 minus 1 is equal to 63. So meron tayong 63. Sa ginawa natin na yun, meron pa rin tayo sa ilalim na 64. Si ibig sabihin yung denominator, kukopihin lang natin. So we have 63 over 64. All over, same thing, ganun din gagawin natin dito. This time, plus naman, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1, 3. So, meron tayong 3 over 2. Unti-unti lang lumilit yung number, ha? 
Okay, so therefore, simplify ulit natin. So, that is 64 divided by 64 is equal to 1. So, meron na lang tayo sa taas sa 63. Times, oh, bakit tayo multiply sa division yan? Pag multiply tayo, yung fraction na nasa ilalim, kukunin lang natin yung reciprocal. At ang reciprocal ng 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. Okay, so therefore, meron tayong 63 divided by 3 is 21. 21 times 2 is 42. At ito yung ating S sub 6 is equal to 42. Madali lang naman, di ba? So, kailangan lang balikan natin yung dun sa fraction. Kasi kadalasan, kapag kumukuha tayo ng geometric series, kailangan natin gamitin yung mga natutulan natin sa fraction. Addition and subtraction, kahit yung division at multiplication. Okay, pangayin tayo dito sa second example natin. Meron tayong 81, 54, and 36. Sa so, ngayon, i-check muna natin. Geometric sequence kaya ito? Kasi kanina, alam natin, geometric sequence. I-check natin. So, para malaman natin yan, kailangan muna natin kunin yung ratio o yung common ratio. So, ano yun? So, meron tayo ngayon Second term and first term, that is 54 over 81. And that is equal to, what is 54 divided by 81? That is 2 over 3, that is the lowest term. Bakit 2 over 3? Dahil 27, itong dalawa na to ay divisible. So 54 divided by 27 is 2. 81 divided by 27 is 3. Punta naman tayo dun sa third and second term. So meron tayong 36 over 54. Oh, medyo malalaki na naman yan. So, we have ano yung ano yan? Ano yung divisible? They are both divisible by 18. 36 divided by 18 is 2. And 54 divided by 18 is tama, that is 3. So, ngayon, meron tayong meron tayong, ano? meron tayong common ratio, parehas na 2 thirds. So, our R is 2 third. So, of course, meron tayong a sub 1. Yung a sub 1 natin is equal to 8. Maliwanag ba? So, gamitin na natin yung formula. Diretso na natin. So, we have, oh, we need to find the first 5 terms. So, we have a sub 5 is equal to, ano yung a sub 1 natin? 81. So, 81 times 1 minus, so, common ratio natin is 2 over 3. And that is raised to 5 because this is fifth term. All over 1 minus R. Ano ulit yung R natin? 2 over 3. Maliwanag doon ulit sa ating pag-substitute. Pag Huwag niyong kalimutan yung substitution natin. Continue natin. So we have now A sub 5 is equal to 81 times, uli na naman natin to 1 minus 2 raised to 5 is 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 13. So, papaano naman itong 3? 3 raised to 5 is, 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81, times 3 is 243. Okay, so meron tayong 13 over 243, all over, simplify na rin natin to. 3 times 1 is 3, minus 2, 1. So, meron tayong 1 third. Huwag yung kalimutan nyo na. That is equal to, again, we have 81 times 243 times 1 is 243 minus 13. 243 minus 13 is 211. Very good. So, meron tayong 211 over 243 pa rin. Huwag yung kalimutan yung denominator. Ha? All over 1 third. And that is equal to, simplify na natin. Itong 81 saka 243, they are divisible. O they, they are divisible by 81. And that is equal to 1 third. So, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon tayo dito ng 211 over 3. Kasi 1 third. Yung 81 over 243, that is 1 third. All over, 1 over 3. So, 211 over 3 divided by 1 third. Kakansel lang natin to Lumalabas, yung final answer natin is equal to 211. At ito yung ating sum ng 
geometric sequence na example natin doon sa number 2. Ayan. So, sana may natutunan naman kayong bago dito sa ating classroom. So, tandaan po ninyo, uh, lagi po nating isipin na kapag meron tayo mga math concept na kailangan nating aralin, andito po ang inyong musikerong maestro, handang-handang tumulong po sa inyo. Mas tandaan lang natin, si God, parang mat, di ka bibigyan ng problema na walang solusyon. O hanggang sa muli, bye-bye!